everyone. I wanted to welcome everyone. Um, thank you for joining us. We're going to give it just another minute or two for everybody to get in and get settled into the room. But I wanted to welcome all of you. Thank you so much for coming on a little bit early. Uh, I'm excited to get started today. And so we'll give it just a minute or two. In the meantime, you'll find a poll question at the lower left hand side of your screen. If you could let us know your answer to that, that would be great. And the audio today will be um, through your computer speakers, but please um, feel free to use that chat box at any time. We want you to engage and to interact with us, and we want to hear your questions. So be sure to enter them in that chat box. We'll give it just another moment. I'm glad to see everybody answering that poll question. That's great. Looks like the majority of you have already created a profile with Mediator Select, so that's awesome. Okay. I think we will go ahead and get started if everybody is ready to dive in. Um, I'm excited and ready to go. So let's let's get started. So hi everyone, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us today. We're here to talk today about creating a Mediator Select profile and making that effective. And we're here to answer your questions, like I said. So please use that chat box at any time. And so today is all about creating an effective mediator profile, how to boost your online presence, and how to make things work for you behind the scenes as you grow and build your business. So if you haven't already um, selected your answer for that poll question in the lower left-hand corner, please go ahead and do that. And um, just a couple other um, things to note before we get started. Um, so you'll find that poll question and um, the audio today will be through your computer speakers. So hopefully everybody can hear me okay, but please use that chat box. We'll take questions and we will monitor that all throughout. And Colette is here with me too in the chat box. So um, please send them along uh, as you think of them. And so again, I'm Pam Sullivan. I'm a webinar host for you today and a virtual trainer with Mediator Select. And um, so as we go through today, we, uh, like I said, we wanna make sure you engage and interact and ask your questions. And um, we're gonna give you a lot of great tips uh, and things to increase your digital presence and to boost your online profile and ways to improve that. So as we're going along, grab a paper and pen and maybe think about one or two or even more things that you will put into place within the next 24 or 48 hours after today. Um, just some good notes and things you can do to, to um, improve your profile. Uh, and that will make sure you get the most out of today and make sure you hold yourself accountable and um, really get in there and dive in. And so I'm, again, excited to be here. Um, I love seeing you all and hearing your stories and how Mediator Select is helping you grow your business. And we are gonna do a live demo today. We're gonna go through step-by-step step to show you everything that you'll need to do to not only um, set up your account and get your profile started, but how to get the most out of it and make, make it more effective. So we do have a lot to cover today. Um, again, it's getting the most out of your digital profile. So we're going to go over some basics and setting up your account. And I'll show you step by step and how to do that. And we're going to also talk about making our profile more effective. And what that means is making it as complete as possible and thought out so that you can differentiate yourself from your competitors and you'll get selected more often for cases and um, people will, uh, will select you when they find you online. And we're also going to talk about um, just a little bit of about some more advanced things in your digital presence and what that means and how your mediator profile fits into the bigger picture with SEO and how, it, how that helps more people find you online. And so um, your digital presence, and again, we're gonna be talking about your digital presence and your digital profile. So two different things. So digital presence, what that means is um, it's something that in today's world, it's really critical and it's it's mandatory, even for a business that's face-to-face -face, like mediation. Um, and so what a digital presence is, is it's social media, it's posting articles or blog posts, and it's a way that um, you can connect with your prospects 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and like I said, articles, videos, blog posts, conversations that you have online. So all of these things work together to build your online presence. 
um, and it's staying consistent and relevant. And what that does is when people find you and they have more places to look, um, it boosts your credibility, demonstrates your skills, um, and it increases your, your visibility. And so your mediator digital profile um, is a way that you can use to build that online and digital presence. And it's a really important part of that. And it kind of, you know, it all works together. So what a digital profile is any online description of you or your practice. And so this likely is the first place that a potential client might meet you. Um, so you really need to present your skills and your personality in such a way that uh, the client's first impression of you is an influential one. And that's what Mediator Select, your profile on there, really helps you to do. Um, and it can show up when people are searching your name or looking for a mediator online. So that's how it works in creating that digital presence. Um, and so that's also why you want to make sure um, that you have as complete a profile as possible and, you're, and that you're really strategic about it um, and go about it in a way that um, is going to really help you help you build that. So a complete mediator profile is what we're here to help you do today. Um, and that really helps you build a strong online presence. And so what to publish? Um, so just like um, just like your digital presence um, with things like blog articles or conversations online, your mediator profile, um, digital profile really helps um, works in the same way. Um, so what you publish on your profile will, can show up online and it can help you. Um, and so you really need to put yourself in the shoes of your prospects. So really be thinking of your ideal client and your target client. Keep that in mind when you're putting things in your profile. Um, so who are they and what are they looking for in a mediator? And you want to really capture their attention. So just like things you post online captures somebody attention, uh, your profile is going to create curiosity too. Um, and it's going to build trust. So if you um, are really relevant in your profile and in your messaging on there, people are going to see that. Um, and they're going to um, really trust you. People want to work with people who they know, like, and trust. Uh, and so um, a really effective digital profile is going to do that for you. And it should never be just an online resume. So don't look at it as you're going to put all your skills and, and things and uh, just things that would be on a resume. So it's really more than that. Um, and we're going to show you today how, how that all works and how, um, how you can make that work for you. And where to publish. And again, just like things that you post um, on your digital presence, you want to post um, across all platforms. So you want to really make sure that you state that you're a mediator across all of your platforms, anything that you use on social media, uh, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and media direct directories uh, like Mediator Select. And so consistency is the key. So it works. It works just the same way. So things you um, put on your profile, make sure um, that you're stating that across across everyone. And so uh, I think what I'll do now is I will share my screen. I don't see any questions just yet. But again, um, put your questions in that chat box in the left hand corner there. And we will keep keep an eye out. Um, we will keep an eye out for those. And so what I'm going to do now, I'll share my screen so that you can see step by step everything that I'm talking about. So we'll go through the basics and we'll go through some more um, advanced stuff real quick um, in the time we have today. So we should go about another another half hour or so. Um, OK, so you should um, so you should be seeing the mediator select screen right here. And again, I will keep an eye on the chat. I have another screen over here. So if you have any questions as we go through, uh, just feel free to feel free to put those in. So the first step in creating your profile is um, creating an account. Um, so you'll see here from the medi mediatorselect.com. Uh, there's a login screen here. And if you haven't already set up your account, uh, you can do that here or you can log in and you can use your Facebook, your LinkedIn or your Google to create that account or you can use your email. And so um, if you don't already have an account, you would click this sign up here.
Okay, and again, I'm going to use um, some demo <laughs> demo account information, and I'm going to set up my profile right here with you, and create a password. So you're going to use your um, email address, um, create a password, and in the select account type, you're going to select mediator, and you do need to select a country, and agree to the terms of service, and click create account. And what this will do next is it's going to ask you to confirm your email address. And the reason for this, um, a couple of different reasons, we want to make sure that you've put in uh, an, a correct email address because people can communicate with you. Hiring parties can communicate with you through Mediator Select uh, when they find your profile. And so we want to make sure that you confirm your email address so then when they email you, um, you'll be sure to get those emails um, confirming will activate it in our system and it also will prevent um, those emails that they send from going to your junk or your spam folder. So confirm your email address and then I have my email open here and this is the email that you will get. So you'll get, um, actually you'll get a lot of nice emails. So you'll get, first you'll get an email from support um, welcoming you um, and this is the one to confirm your address. And the welcome email is nice. It gives you um, some really great steps, step-by-step -step and articles to read and, and really some nice things to get you going. But the first step would be confirming your email address. So once you confirm, you can continue and go right into your account. And so from here, you'll see the um, account dashboard in this orange uh, bar here. And we're going to go through um, step by step, like I said, and set up your account. But I just wanted to point out a few things here before we before we go any further. So this um, orange dashboard here, you can see anybody um, who has recommended you. You'll see your testimonials, how many testimonials you'll have. Um, and your views, added to case, selected for case. So this is a really nice summary of your profile and your account. Um, lets you really see a lot of nice things at a, at a glance. So this is a really nice dashboard. And once you're at the, the make sure you're at the general tab and you'll see here the um, your profile is not public yet. There are a few things that you need to do in order to publish your profile once you set it up. And we'll go th through those things now. There's a really nice wizard. Um, so this profile wizard takes you through all of the basic things. There's a few things you need to set up in order to make your account public. Uh, so let's click on that now. And it pre-fills as much information as um, you set up uh, to this point. And here, this box here is really important. Um, this um, is a description of your mediator mediation practice. Now, you don't have to go through a lot of detail. And in fact, this sh should be very short, just about 160 characters. And I'm going to show you what this looks like um, when we when we preview the um, public profile. But this is what people will see at a very quick glance if they find you online um, and even on the mediatorselect.com website, um, when they first see you, this is the first, um, very first impression that they will get of you. So in a very short amount of uh, space, you want to just describe your mediation practice um, very quickly. So I'm going to give you an example here. I have, I have a description here that I'll show you. So it's really um, what you provide for services um, and different things like that. Your employment and workplace conflicts, stakeholder disputes, um, family business matters. So, so just keep that really short. And again, I'll show you what that looks like online uh, in a little bit later. And you do need a photo. And um, your photo should be uh, 200 by 200 pixels. Any smaller or larger, it's going to be stretched or too big, and um, so it should be squared, 200 by 200. I'm going to upload a photo here. And then here you'll just put in your address. Um, so I'll just uh, copy my demo address in here. And you can include your website. You can include your company name. And I've just got some test information here that I'll use. 
And just um, a thing to note also, even though you're putting in your full address here with, um, with your phone number and your zip code, the only thing that's going to be public for hiring parties is the city and state. So even though you put your full address, the street, that's not going to show up. Um, that's not going to show up on your public profile. And here um, is a very nice feature. Uh, if you have a video on YouTube, you can paste the YouTube link right in there. Um, and we'll get into um, video in just a little bit, just a bit later in the demo, but um, you really want to make sure you put that video in there. This video is going to give people a very quick glance into um, getting to know you. Um, and it's really uh, the quickest way for people to see how you are and for them to trust you and um, just kind of see that you're confident. Um, and so I'm going to get a video, video link here so you can see what that looks like. So you want to paste your YouTube URL right in there. And there you have it. That wizard takes you through those first few steps and the basics that you really need to publish your profile. So you can see up here in the upper right hand corner, your profile is now public at this point. And you can go through that wizard to change things at any time. So if you want to update your video link or your photo or change things, you can use that profile. That's a really nice feature. Um, and you can also go through here the screens without going through the profile. You can see now this is um, everything that's going to show up on your public profile. And so this is your snippet of your um, your short description. So in here, and you want to make sure you save changes every once in a while. Um, as you go through, just save those changes. Because if you go through from tab to tab, you might lose some information that you put. So um, make sure you scroll down at the bottom and click that Save button. Just make sure you don't lose any information. And here in the background tab, this is where we're getting into some more, um, some more areas that's going to make your profile more effective. Um, so here is where you really want to use some some really great power words to tell your story and really be strategic about it and relevant to your target um, so that it really resonates with your with the hiring parties that are looking for you. Um, so here I'll just paste some information here just so you can see a complete profile. And you can put any panels or associations you belong to. Um, and don't worry about, um, you know, competition with other panels. You, um, our mediators are involved with other panels and associations. And we're not a panel. So, so that's totally fine if you are on a panel. And I want to show you here the locations coverage. If you click the um, set it now, we don't um, currently have any um, options for international, putting in any international um, areas. So what we would do is click the set it now. Um, and do you offer mediation services nationwide? If you do, you would click yes. And that would um, just let people know that uh, you offer services nationwide. But if you don't, click no. And then you'll see you can add your city and state coverage. So if you click add a city, you would just type in here. So say New York, oh, did I spell that wrong? <laughs> okay. So you can search for whatever cities that you cover and then click add city. And you can, you can select as um, many as you want. So just type in the city and then it'll come up with um, with all of the available options for 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 those cities and then click done and so this is important too because as people are um, as hiring parties are on our, our database uh, they can filter their search um, and this really makes it relevant to to you and where you cover and what they're looking for. Um, so you want to make sure you put that in there so that when they're searching, um, they can they can find you. 
and just fill in all of these areas here um, and make sure, um, like I said, make sure you're, you're as thorough as possible. Um, and this is going to differentiate you for anybody else that they're looking for. Your experience, uh, your meta mediation practice areas. Um, this is really important too. Um, so hiring parties can filter when they're searching for you, searching for mediators in the database. Um, and so the more complete you um, put in here, uh, that will help more people find you. Um, mediation training. And then your mediation approach and philosophy. We'll put that in here. Um, so this is just, um, you know, your, your principles and how you approach things. Um, and, and again, this is um, what's going to make this really, um, really stand out um, to people. So make sure you put that in. And you want to put in your fees <laughs> um, and anything else you can think of in here. The number of multi-party cases you handle complex case experience. Let me see if we have an example that you can use there. You want to put your stats. Here's where you would put your fees, your years in practice, any degrees that you have, um, and the professional services that you offer. And again, select all that you can. References, any other information. And here's a good place where you can put um, links to external resources if you have um, articles, videos, or webinars. Um, you can put that in there. And again, make sure you save your changes. And you can see here you have um, your profile information has been saved. Um, and so that is, um, that's the basics. And then um, I also wanted to go over some things that um, will really help make your profile stand out and make it more effective. Um, because you know you've um, you've worked really hard to build your mediation business, um, and we know that you're in our database, and we we know that we have the best mediators out there, and so we want to help you um, help increase your visibility. And sometimes the next step for people is um, increasing that, uh, building that online presence. Um, so this is really what's going to help you do that again and, and making it a really complete, um, complete and relevant profile. So one of the things that is going to make, um, make your profile really stand out is making sure, like I said, all the areas are complete and you're using those power words and you're thinking about your target client and what they're going to be looking for. Um, so really think about what they might be looking for in, an, in a mediator. Video is another thing that's going to um, make you really stand out. So when you have a dynamic video, um, you can go from really being a static person online and just a headshot um, and then to really showing people how confident and you are. And it's a way to really instantly build that trust. Um, and people will resonate with that. And like I said, um, people want to work and, and hire people who they who they trust and who they think they know and who think um, really knows them and gets them. So, um, so that's a really great resource for you. And I'm going to put a couple of links in the chat box when we're done. We have some additional resources uh, that I will show you. Uh, so towards the end, um, and one of those resources is a really nice YouTube video that we have um, a mediator select on the YouTube channel. And it really gives you some really nice tips on creating your video. So if you're looking for ways to, um, to really make an effective video, I'm going to give you the link for that. And I'll put that in the chat, like I said, um, towards the end. And the other way um, that you can really increase your profile's visibility um, and effectiveness is with testimonials. Um, testimonials really are a vital part of your profile. Um, and so every time you close a case um, in the database and you work on a case, um, your hiring parties are going to be prompted to um, give you a recommendation or a testimonial. Um, but in addition to that, you might have other areas where somebody might send you an email 
or somebody might say something um, really nice, give you some really nice feedback, and you can put those in yourself. Um, so you really want to take some time um, and asking for testimonials. Um, and the way you can do that is from this testimonials tab. And there's an ask for ask for recommendations link, and this is really nice. Um, and I want to show you that here. Um, so you can send an email to um, you know to your colleagues or your clients um, and to really try to get their feedback and other people that you work with, uh, anybody that you can think of. So you can put their email in here. And you can have multiple um, emails just separated by the comma. Um, and they're going to get an email when you send this. It's going to say, can you recommend me? Or you can change this subject line if you want. And this is just some standard language to help you. But again, you can customize that to you. And, um, and this is going to send them an easy way that they can click on a link and give you a recommendation. So you really want to be mindful of um, getting as many as you can, because that's going to help you stand out. And I want to show you um, another thing here that's going to help you. Um, so every once in a while, um, you can come in and get your profile score. So this is a nice uh, section here. If you click on this audit your profile and discover your score, this is going to give you a really nice snapshot of where you are and how effective um, that you think your, your score is going to be. And so you can see here everything that's complete, and it gives you recommendations, too, of um, things that you can do to improve uh, that, that profile. So really take some time and, and look at that every once in a while there. And then the third part of our session today is uh, I wanted to talk about uh, your digital presence and SEO and how your mediator select profile really can can help that. Uh, and so let's take a look here. Um, I wanted to, to see too if everybody could put if you put into the chat, um, have you ever Googled your own name? Um, and what kind of results have come up when you do that? Um, so um, yeah, so what, um, again, if you um, Google your name, this something like this might come up. Um, and so what Google does, um, it's, it, there's, a, there's an algorithm and um, SEO and, and things like that. Um, so when you have a profile um, and people are searching for a mediator online or maybe they just type in, type in um, mediators or uh, mediator.com, this is something like this will come up. And this is that short description that I was telling you about in your profile. This is where that comes from. So the, in that way, uh, your mediator select profile helps build that for you because it's going to pull information when people are looking for you online or looking for a mediator online. It's going to pull information from your, um, from your profile. And that's the first thing people are going to see. So that's why you really want to make that short description really stand out because people make um, decisions so quick online, especially these days. Um, so if people are looking and they see something that stands out, they're going to want to click on you more and more. And in, and, and at the same time, when you have other things on your other um, platforms, um, it increases the chance that you're going to get ranked higher because the goal is to get ranked higher um, on Google and in their algorithm. And the way that happens is more people clicking on you um, and more people clicking on other things in your uh, social media. And so that all works together to kind of push you up um, towards the top of the pages in Google so that when people are searching, um, you get pushed way up there. So that's really what um, your profile on here will help you to do. And I know this is a very quick, very quick tutorial on SEO and Google is and algorithms and how that all works. Um, but just know that it is really important and it really does. It really does help you in um, building that. And so again, um, 
in the chat, I want to see if anybody has um, used content marketing. So what content marketing would be is um, writing blog articles or um, uh, creating things online that um, are informational based as a way to bring people back to your website. So I want to see in the chat if anybody currently uses any content marketing strategies uh, and, and if you've had any success with that. Um, and I think I have a poll here. I'm going to open, I'll open that after. Um, so I want to show you some other things here. Um, this is a Mediator Select profile for Cheryl Jackson Matthews. And this is a video that she's put on uh, her profile. And I'm going to play this for just a few seconds. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it, um, but I just want to show you just um, a few seconds of her video. And now you can see it's a really professional looking video. Um, and she's really speaking to her target and she's showing confidence. Um, and so this is just an example of uh, what you can do for your video. One other thing here I will show you. We're going to look at um, Steven Rosenberg. <laughs> and you can see here he has 26 recommendations. And you can see his um, city and states, locations, description of practice, mediators tab. This is what hiring parties will see when they're looking through. So they can filter on different things. And you'll see here below can view a profile and going back to my profile here you'll see a couple of other tabs here um, the subscribe tab this is just for some more um, customized services there's different monthly types now the nice thing is to set up your profile is totally free um, so make sure you take advantage of that um, to set up, like I said, to have a published profile is totally free. There are some more customized options from that, from that subscribe tab there. Um, and like I said, that gives you um, a really nice um, overview of setting up your profile and making it for more effective. Um, so let me jump back into the slides here. And so like I said, um, we do have some additional resources for you. There's um, some really nice blog articles on the website and you'll find those at mediatorselect.com forward slash blog. There's a nice one called how to create an effective mediator. Um, and I will, like I said, I'm gonna put those, um, put those links in the chat box here in, in just a few moments. Um, and then there's um, a YouTube channel. Make sure you go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. There's a lot of nice how-to videos on there that will really help you as well. Um, and search for Mediator Select on there. And I'm going to see if there's any questions in here. And again, put those questions into that chat box if you have if you have any questions or comments that you'd like to share. Um, I see people chatting in there. I couldn't see the chat while I was in um, the demo, but thank you so much for for putting those chats in. And we are on social media, um, so Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. We're at Mediator Select. And like I said before, um, really try to think of a few things that you can put into place right now to improve your, your digital profile. Um, and it's mediatorselect.com forward slash um, hashtag login. And um, so what you can do is create or update your digital profile and really make that good first impression and help build your strong uh, presence. Uh, and again, add those testimonials, gives you really great social proof ask for recommendations. That's going to really um, strengthen your profile and monitor your profile from time to time. And I'm going to go through the chat here to see if any other, any questions 
Um, people are saying they've Googled their name, but no result. <laughs> um, let's see. The potentials of LinkedIn. Yes, recently set up a blog site um, with some marginal results. Um, Deborah's got 3,838 3, views. Um, how does that compare to others? Um, and Colette saying that would be a great idea to include in our features. Uh, so go ahead and type in any other questions you can um, you can think of in there. And again, I wanted to thank um, everybody for joining us and not only for spending your time with us today, but um, thank you for being um, a great mediator and for all that you do. And we really appreciate you being in our in our community. Um, and we really want to help you. Uh, really want to help you. And um, we've got a support at mediatorselect.com. If you have any questions as you're setting up your profile, please uh, reach out to us at any time. We're here to help you and create that um, create that online presence that is going to increase your visibility. And if you hang out for just another few moments, I'm going to paste those, those links in there for those additional resources. And those are going to be live links that you can click, click on. So um, let me paste those in there for you. And like I said, those are to our blog articles, um, to our YouTube channel. Make sure you go on and subscribe. And this gives you the login link too. So hopefully um, you will put some things into practice after we're done today to really make the most out of today. And if you need help and let us know how it's going, um, send us an email, support at mediatorselect.com. We wanna know how you're doing and if there's any way that we can help you all right. Um, and again, thank you so much. And reach out if there are any questions. And um, we will see you next time. And again, thank you so much for joining today. And I hope, uh, hope everybody has a great day.